As we have moved on a number of weeks, do you see a calm coming into the debate that will allow for institutions to come to constructive good ends for the United Kingdom? Well, uh, Tom, uh, first, it's, it's great to be on your show again. Uh, I would say that I, uh, I'm impressed at how uh, I would not uh, eat the words that I wrote on the Friday uh, after Brexit, in the sense that I have the same analysis today as I had then, which is that I think that in the short run, uh, the UK is going to suffer. I think the main effect is what we call the the option value of uh, waiting uh, for investment, which might lead to a very large drop in investment. This, I continue to think, is going to be the main effect. It's going to be partly undone by the uh, depreciation, but not entirely. So I continue to think that uh, the UK is going to go through some tough times. But at the same time, what I was saying there is that for the rest of the world, this was not a major event. And I was struck on, the, on that Friday at how uh, suddenly risk had, had become off uh, to an unusual degree. Or another way of saying this, people were confused. Uh, the, uh, some thought it was the end of the world, the, the end of Europe. And I conjectured right. that over the coming days and the coming weeks, uh, some of the smoke would go away and we would realize uh, that this was mainly a UK problem, which it is. Uh, and talking about the numbers you just gave, uh, what strikes me is how well the uh, UK stock market has done relative to the EU uh, stock market. Right. I continue to think that the effect is, much, is likely to be much stronger uh, on the UK right. uh, than on the EU. Governor King appeared with us, and Mervyn King was adamant that he agreed with Olivier Blanchard that a measured tone was in order. Do you think we will get that from the new Chancellor of the Exchequer, Mr. Hammond? What is your prescription for the debate of austerity within the United Kingdom? Well, I'm not going to uh, make any uh, judgment or assessment about the politics. I don't know the new players well enough to say anything. Uh, my sense is in the current conditions, uh, surely some fiscal expansion uh, and some loosening of monetary policy are probably the, the safe things to do. You're going to have, again, a fairly large decrease in private demand, almost surely. I, I do not see how this is going to be avoided. And so to that extent, I think that uh, fiscal consolidation probably can wait and should wait. So I'm in favor of indeed relaxing a bit uh, what the initial plan was. Olivia, you say Brexit is mainly a UK problem. Is it an opportunity for the EU? What is the best way for Europe to strengthen and unify its institutions as both sides try to negotiate this divorce? So I think from a purely economic point of view, it's probably good for the EU in some ways. There's a whole discussion about where the city is going to go, whether it goes back to New York or whether uh -huh. it goes to the continent. Uh, that's a plus. Uh, in terms of the internal dynamics, political and economic, uh, I, I do not know. My sense is, uh, you know, there was, again, on that Friday, there was a sense that this was the beginning of similar movements and similar referenda elsewhere. I have a sense uh, that what's going to happen to the UK is going to make things, uh, is going to make people think twice. Right. So in that sense, that might be a good, a good thing. Now, then there are people who really want more Europe uh, and are going to try to use it to push. Uh, I'm not sure that the electorate as a whole uh, is eager to do it. And so I don't see major political changes or changes of direction in Brussels Interesting. Uh, in, the, in the near future. Does the Brexit vote and the surprising outcome embolden or diminish the elite, the main actors and governments involved in, in strengthening the Eurozone? Again, I think it's mixed. Uh, I mean, again, it, it, you know, the, the vote went against the experts, quote unquote, right? But I suspect that the experts, quote unquote, are going to be proven right. Mm. So you have the initial reaction, and then you have the reaction in six months or a year. And if the UK hasn't done well, I think then there'll be a reassessment that maybe the experts sometimes uh, know what they are talking about.